strawberries. Hmm. See? How good is that? Hmm. Good. Joe, Riggs, we start canvassing the neighbors. Then Pelt, come with me. Uh, I, I, this would not happen. I'm sorry for what I said to you before. Can I please continue working with you? I thought you were quitting. You know I didn't mean that. So the job is worthwhile, is it? Uh, it's not that. I mean, it's not that at all. It's just... I have nothing else to do. No jokes. From now on, there have to be boundaries. Agreed. I need to know that you can do your work and be effective without creating a mess that I have to clean up. No mess, I swear. On that basis, you can remain with the unit. Thank you. Here. You abused a corpse to get a confession. Used. Used a corpse. There's no ab. I'm appalled. I'm... I don't know what to say. Sir, it's not like we killed him. His neck was broken in the crash. We got a confession. Suppose you didn't. Suppose you'd been wrong. Have you any idea of the vastness of the crap storm that would follow? It would blot out the sun. Sir, a crew in Batson manipulated us into arresting the wrong person. They bugged our offices and subverted our case. I don't think we did anything wrong. I think we should be commended. Congratulations, you finally got her to drink the Kool-Aid. Check yourself, Agent. All of you. Well, I thought that went pretty well. Great, yeah. Highlight for me was definitely your speech. Passionate, articulate, strong. Whatever. Am I? No. Not Lisbon. That's him. Donuts for Maurice. Oh. I didn't see it. Of course. What? He's in love with you? Don't be silly. I know, hard to fathom, but uh, there's no accounting for taste, is there? Hush. Logo merchandise, Sinner Saints coffee mugs, decals, beach towels. Whoa, and some various other interesting little knickknacks. Nice. Yeah. Well, if they do it, we should do it. A range of casual wear, maybe? Sensible shoes? I'll get right on that. Lisbon loafers. I just need time to find it. We're not going to waste any more time. I'm shutting this down. Everybody out. Cho, secure the place and set the alarm. Have Reef and Ben Pelt set up on the mansion tonight. We'll take the shift after them. Nobody gets in this place, especially Jane. Understood? Got it. Everybody L out. Lisbon, Lisbon. I, I, this, Lisbon, this. Bite me. We're done for the night. Bite me? Is it too much? Uh, a smidge. A little over the top. Yeah, okay. You did good. There's two things puzzling me. Yeah. How'd you get out of jail, and how'd you get a change of clothes? Ah, well, I'm glad you asked that question. It was very... Hey, Lisbon. Hey. Simple. So they let you out, then? Yes, uh, they did. Thank you very much. Nothing to do with me. So modest. Ah. Uh, right. Boss goes so in love with me, he'll do whatever I say. Yes. Yeah, it's a little far-fetched. He does love you, how could he not? But he's not the type to bend his principles over love. So I figure it's something more concrete. You must have something on him. You think? Yes. Something he did wrong. Something very bad that you know about. Now, he's not the type to steal or do drugs. So my guess, he hurt someone. He killed him. 
killed a bad guy that he couldn't catch any other way. No. Yes. And you helped him do it. No. You found out after the fact, and you let him off the hook because the bad guy deserved it. No. I'm touched that you would risk your career over me. That means a lot to me. If you're right, and I'm not saying you are, it would mean I broke the trust of somebody I respect and admire for your sake. If it is true, I would hope in the future you'd be a little bit more mature and responsible in your behavior. I'm grateful and all that, but let's not go crazy here. I should have let you rot in jail. Oh, just getting a snack, a little light refreshment. Why don't I believe you? What? Well, what is this? This is proof of my veracity. It's time to go. I'm going to stay. I know what this is about. Bosco's got the Red John file. You think if you hang around long enough, you'll weasel your way into it. Weasel's a little strong. You're wasting your time. Bosco will never go for it. Never. What? I'll never go for what? I like the way you work. I want to work in your team on the uh, kidnapping detail. How oh, you do, huh? Life kidnapping victim, so much more my speed than a shriveled corpse. Like I care about your speed? Lisbon, you claim to have control over this whack job. Why don't you do me a favor and walk him away? Don't talk to me that way. Yeah, it's very uh, rude. Quiet. Look, Manelli gave us specific orders. Okay. I heard about Manelli. I'm sorry. Jane? You and Bosco. In the hospital. Well, what do he say? Well, he, uh... He told me to look after you. That's all? No. He said that if I didn't look after you, you'd come back and haunt me. Total nonsense, of course, but it uh, wasn't the right time to correct him. To kill Bosco's favorite. Bypass the alarm system somehow, shut off the security cameras. Prints aren't likely. When was the last time you changed the lock code? That was a class 5B vault door, and I was told that no one could get through it. Insurance a damn well better pay. A good safe cracker can get through anything with the right tools and enough time. This is beautiful. Look at that. Excuse me. Would you stop that, please? Sure, no problem. Just having a look. Got some cool stuff in here. Very cool. Let's go see a doctor. Why? You feeling unwell? No, you are. Joe said he almost fainted. Oh, I was just pretending. I hate these kind of dramatic scenes. Poor kid. Liar. You just don't want to go to the doctor. Well, what's the doctor going to say? You banged your head. Be careful. Well, you might need an MRI. Oh, well, now you're really selling it. Sounds great. Are you okay? Just kidding. Oh, God. I used to love this song. Love the song? I used to love this song. You love this song? Yeah. Obviously, you want to dance. With you? No. Oh, come on. You could pretend that I'm that mean, cold-hearted guy that you used to worship from afar but never talk to. Hmm. No funny stuff. Really? Trumpet? That you love me. No. Cause I'd already. I know it hasn't been the most pleasant experience having a camera crew here. But you gotta cooperate. Deputy AG's orders. Yeah. So what's the deal? You know, I would think out of everybody, you'd be the most comfortable with the cameras. Hmm. Last time I was in front of a camera, things uh, didn't turn out so well. Oh, God, 
Jane, I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. And you're right. There's no reason not to be civil. I'm going to apologize. Hey, need a ride? Where did you get that? Oh, this old thing? Walter Mashburn. Even though you whacked his car just to get a clean read on Elias? Is that what I did? Yeah, you did. Mashburn's not mad? No. We gave him a new experience. He helped us catch the killer. This is his way of saying thank you. Get in. We're not allowed to accept gifts from people. It's not a gift. It's a lend. Now, I know this fantastic restaurant in Napa. We can be there in about seven and a half minutes. It'll blow your mind. It is a pretty nice car. Yes, it is. Come on. Promise you won't break the speed limit? Nope. again. That's 18. That's again. 19. And 20. Voila. I believe that's the wager. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's the trick? Trick? Tell me what the trick is. And I will give you the money. Trick is, I have supernatural powers. It's a two eighty coin, right? Looks normal to me. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm trying to get the taste of salty food out of my mouth. Eau de creme. It's basically, uh, Pretentious chocolate pudding. Very nice. You want some? No. We have to go and talk to the victim's wife. Hmm. Well, maybe she wants some. Comfort food. It's a fine farewell. I feared that she'd become tearful and incoherent, but no. Succinct. Noble. Bravo. Uh-huh. Don't you have anybody you want to call besides Joe and Rigsby? No. If I were dying, I'd want to call you, but you're already here, so there's no need. Me? Hmm? Hmm? What would you say? Uh, wait, wait, wait. If? If I was dying? Yeah, you're not really dying. I wrote a label and put it on an empty flask, and then I convinced poor Lilith Nash to run away. I feel kind of bad about it. You son but of just, just wait, just wait, just, just, just please be still, Cho. This is Jane. Please disregard Lisbon's last message. I tricked her. My bad. I'm so sorry. Are you at the culvert? Okay, good. Wait. There'll be some people coming your way soon. Bye. You're sick. Why would you do this to me? Two reasons. Firstly, to catch the killer of Alicia Seberg. The killer who is not poor Lilith Nash. The killer who you may recall took a dose of the antidote in order to survive exposure to the virus. Yes? Yes. The killer who believes that he or she is the only one that isn't going to die. Yes? Yes. So they have to get out of here before we die or else they'll be burnt to a crisp by the Air Force. Their hands are tied. They have to try to escape, thus revealing themselves to us with the precision and clarity of a mathematical equation. And reason number two. The second and most important reason is, doesn't it feel great to get your life back? Don't you feel good right now? Don't you feel happy to be alive? No. Oh, I know you do. You know if you do. If reason number one does not pan out very, very soon, I think I'm going to punch you in the nose. Forbearance, Lisbon. Any moment now, Harkin is going to come around that corner with an anxious expression on his face because someone has run off. Any moment now. Wait. Any moment. Nothing. You just get... Ah. Oh. 
That's what I'm talking about. Why are you following us? Following you? Shoot, I thought California was friendly. I'm just trying to make a sale here at Life Insurance. Cute young couple like yourselves. Now, you got to think about the future, right? You got kids yet? That's a terrible accent. This guy's British, yes? You gotta work on your glottal stop. His what? The glottal stop. Can we see some identification, please? Uh, sure, it's in the car. Hold on, I'll oh. get it. Put your hands on the car. Now! What's this about? Turn around. A stranger asks to see your ID. You ask them to show you theirs first. Unless, of course, you're trying to hide something. Quite right. Quite right, Mr. Jane. Who are you? Francis Slocum. Inspector Francis Slocum. Scotland Yard, special branch. Uh. So. Thank you for your time, Mr. Williams. Jane? Jane. I'll meet you outside. Can't really see anything. It's kind of a draft right here, though. If you just, just there. No food, no water. This is not good. Well, I suppose we should draw straws to see who eats soup first. Yeah, right. Draw straws with a professional cheat. What's up, Grumpy? It's not like we're going to die here. Drivers don't want us dead. Huh? Come here and get a little bit of this breeze. It'll cheer you up. Come here. Not quite as nice as a river breeze, but it's not bad. Feeling that? Good. River breeze. Wait a minute. I live nowhere near the docks. That's good. It's a terrible neighborhood. You said you called me because I was closer, but the HQ is only 15 minutes from the docks. I'm, I'm just, I'm bad with distances. Always have been. Patrick Jane, you were trying to help me. You were. You thought if I made a big bust, the PSU would get off my bed. You know, I'm always going to save you, Elizabeth, whether you like it or not. I don't need to be saved. I knew this would end the disaster the day I signed on with you. One day, I'm going to get fired because of you. That's just the way it is. Some people might ask why you signed on with me in the first place. Catch a lot of bad guys. Most days, that's enough. Also, Shh, I can't. I think it is. Someone up there. What? Hello? Hello? Over here! In here! Around the front, the, the, the big latch! I told you I would save you. And it's a compulsion you're not fully in control of, but I wish you would try. It would make our work a lot easier if you did. Try. Did you see that? What? Right outside that window. There's a pink unicorn. Amazing. Now you're hallucinating. No, 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 look, it's right outside the window. Seriously, look, it's a unicorn. I'm in the sea. I don't see a unicorn. It's right there. I'm trying to trigger. Oh. Yes. What a nice unicorn. Yeah, very nice unicorn. So you like to have secret tea parties? How did you know about the tea party? Oh, you know, I kind of like secret tea parties, too. I'm Patrick. That's Teresa. Hi. I'm Ashley Harrington. It's a pleasure to meet you. You, too. Now, who's your mom and dad? Xander Harrington and Sadie Cardoza Harrington. I know my address and phone number, too. Very good. Patrick and I are actually looking for your mommy. Do you know where she is? Outside. We could go cheer her up. Is she sad, sweetie? She misses daddy. He went away on that trip. Yes, he did. Where have you been? Farmer's market. Delicious apples. You like that kind of thing? Keep in the clouds, are you? I have to shoot her through. I don't want him slipping away. Too late. He slipped. These ones are just a smoke screen. Why else would he place the ad? It's a lovely day if you want to waste your time talking to clowns. Oh, we have to. Maybe Bozo made a mistake and got caught here with the rest of them. No, I knew a clown once. Catastrophe was his name. Hard for him. He could stick the ice clubs into a melon at 50 feet. We need to talk to the victim's wife. 50 feet. Wow. You're pretty, uh, what, 
you're pretty adventurous, right? Because my, my lady, she, she gets a little out there at times. Getting there now. Let's go upstairs and see. We just have to work things out with Howie. Okay. Barkeep. How can I help you? Another bottle of good stuff? Uh, no thanks. Uh, here's a pimp. Hey, that nice business manager there. Concerned friend. Whatever. We'd like to take our little soiree upstairs to a more private location. Novella says that we have to talk to you. It's going to be the two of you. It's going to be extra. <sighs> sure. She's paying. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're sure he said nothing? Nothing at all. Nothing. 